All right, we are in the kitchen with uh, Johnny Moe, the musical chef from Mallard at the Wharf in Onancock, cooking up Eastern Shore Crabs. Benedict, good morning. Thank you morning. for coming on the show. Very cool. Breakfast Thank dish, you. very excited, obviously, with yeah. the morning show. So let's go over first and start off with some of the ingredients. All right. First, we're going to talk about our hollandaise sauce. Okay. Uh, we're just going to use some egg yolks, a okay. uh, little lemon juice, some white wine, and a little hot sauce. And uh, to make a hollandaise, it's kind of a technical sauce, but... It's not that hard. I was going to say, this is filling some heat. Yeah, right what we've got is a, a double boiler set up here, basically. Okay. We've got some boiling water underneath our glass uh, dish here. Okay. We put our egg yolks in, a little lemon juice. Now, why the lemon juice? Is that just going to It just adds a little flavor, okay. adds a little flavor. Uh, a little white wine, just about a tablespoon for this small batch we're making here. Just a little here. bit. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you know, we save something. <laughs> you drink. could, right. That's right. A uh, little salt. And why don't you start giving that a stir there. All right, just a little whisk. Yeah, and what we're going to do with this is you're going to basically constantly stir that because okay. you don't want the eggs to cook now or how, scramble. I was going to say, how are they not going to scramble? Yeah. This is pretty warm. Well, we're doing like an indirect heat, basically, while we're okay. using the steam to heat the bowl up instead of using a direct flame or something gotcha. like that. So we'll keep whisking that, and it's going to take about five to seven minutes, but okay. we'll come back to that later. But you just keep stirring that. Okay. And uh, the way the crab benedict works, basically, is we'll use a nice piece of bread. We'll cook the crab cakes up. We're going to finish the hollandaise sauce with lots and lots of butter because mm. any sauce with egg yolks and butter is going to be good. Anything right? with I mean, butter is, that's is right. amazing. Yeah. Um, What's in that little uh, dish here? there? Is that I've, a secret? Oh, I've also brought some smoked salmon. Oh, so uh, we'll try to do two different versions. We'll do a smoked salmon version and a crab cake version. So okay. Kind of mix it up a little bit. Now, as I'm, uh, am I still doing good? What's yeah, you're rocking. Away? We don't, don't want any scrambles. Like what happens if we just let it sit? Uh, it will start to cook. Okay. Yeah, yeah <laughs> gotcha. it'll start to cook. You want to keep it moving. And basically, what will happen is that'll thicken up to almost a pudding consistency. Okay. Not quite as thick as a pudding, but a good way to test is if you make a figure eight with the whisk oh, oh, and it eight. stays on top. <laughs> if, if you drizzle and it stays on top, that means your eggs are ready to go and you can start uh, on your butter, but we got a ways so to go gotta, for that. So we got to get it the yeah, consistency. Exactly. And like I said, this will take a while. We'll probably uh, finish the sauce up on the next segment. So as we're doing our segment, you'll just be over here whisking I'll eggs away. I'll be whisking away. away. Yeah, unless you want to stay here and do That's it. That's cool. I could just be here and, <laughs> you know, do the Beyonce dance to it. With it. <laughs> All right. I see you. All right. <laughs> you were doing that yeah, high she, step thing. I, <laughs> Why and didn't you know, go over there and start I, dancing yeah. with us? I don't want to step on your territory. That's all right. That's all right. Now, speaking of dancing, you do do something that involves music. I do. Talk I do, a little actually. bit about that. Yeah, playing the band, and uh, I have a new cookbook coming out. I have my first one, Johnny Mo Rocks the Kitchen, and my new one comes out on Mother's Day, okay. Johnny Mo Rocks the Party, which is more appetizers, um, party dishes, stuff like that. So, okay, so. And the thing is, each of cookbooks come with a full-length CD. Because I'm All the right. band, like I say. So, so, uh, so do you recommend when people buy your cookbook that they play your CD as they're cooking your, your dishes? So they just say, get inspired. You know, you cook and by, say, track six, you're done. And you still got four tracks to listen to while you eat. Okay. Yeah. So can you sing this recipe? I mean, do we have a song you for this? You put me on the spot now. I'll, just I a little, come like, back. tune. We'll come back. I'm not like a show tune guy. I'm more gotcha. of a guitar guy. Guitar but, guy. Yeah, which yeah. you are going to show us some of my guitar moves. And I I'm am. thinking that this is... Uh, I'm pull that off the heat. It's, it actually came up really nice. Look at that. You want to take over? Sure. Is that good? We're going to add a little shot of water just so they don't cook too much and scramble. A shot of water. There we go. A little like shot of that. cold water will slow them down, <laughs> slow down the cooking process, basically. If you notice your eggs starting to scramble before they get too yeah, bad. Yeah, they didn't scramble. They Yay. Did. I'm excited. Okay, so we're good. All right, well, we're going to take uh, the next step to this in our next cooking segment, Excellent. so we'll just keep whisking that away and check in with the ladies and Jeremy on the gas. in the kitchen this morning with Johnny Moe, the musical chef from Mallard at the Wharf in O'Nancock, cooking up Eastern Shore Crabs Benedict. Oh, yeah. Yummy. Uh, smells good. We Now, earlier we were working on our hollandaise yeah, sauce. Yeah, we made hollandaise. Basically, we added the clarified butter to that just so it didn't break, and we finished that up. We so just kind of whisked that in slowly. This is the consistency that That's we want. That's the consistency Look we're looking that. for. Okay. Uh, we're just going to hit that with a little shot of hot sauce. All right, now. And a little salt, which we got before. Um, just a little more. It was good to go here. You can add um, a little more hot sauce if you want you to like, right, kick it up. You're not or from you New Orleans. Can, you can family. also, yeah. Okay, right. Yes. You can also add some uh, seafood seasoning if you want to really jack it okay. up a little bit, you know. But okay, so we're gonna get our crab cakes going now. We got a nice hot pan. We're gonna use a little bit of this clarified butter. Oh, all right. we'll just splatter a little bit. But. Okay. All right. Get that coated well and just throw your crab cakes. These are our uh, secret recipe crab cakes from oh, my restaurant. You know, I didn't. Just about to ask what went in them. That's right. I didn't want to tell you all that, so crab. I made them ahead of time. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all lump, all crab, jumbo okay. lump crab meat, and they're just held together with love. <laughs> yes, yes. I like that. Love, love balloons. Yeah. Um, so how hot do we need to have this? We want that on medium high. Them. We're just going to give them a quick sear and we'll finish them off in the oven. Okay. Um, the bread we're using for our Benedict, instead of your typical English muffin, we're using a ciabatta bread. I like to take a nice cookie cutter. Oh, it's kind of like you're making cookies on the holidays. Like that. That's right. Now, why do you 
cut them out? Why don't you just use the whole? Well, square, you'd have a lot of excess bread and everything. Okay. We don't want all that. But you can save this if you're going to make bread pudding or croutons or something like that so you're not wasting anything. Gotcha. We'll pop these over here. And what I did was just brush them with a little butter, okay. all the rest of them. So we got plenty already. Do you want me to brush these two with butter? Sure, go for it. This is what I'm using? Yeah. Okay. Boom. Look at that. All right, you're professional. That's Tell right. You what. That's that New Orleans coming oh, out. That's around here. in the kitchen. All right, get it. There we all go. Right. All right. We'll pop these in the oven here. How long are we doing that? Oh, you know, about just eight minutes, ten minutes. You know, I've got it on 350, so okay. it's going to take a little longer. Put that in the crouton pile, please. And <laughs> Where it's sure. I don't oh, know. There we go. Well, oh, right, there's crouton pile. All right, so. <laughs> we'll get a nice oh, that's a really here. good. Yeah. Oh, that was fairly quick. Yeah, they just take about a minute or two on each side. I didn't bring my spatula. Oh, See, we had one come up. I there, thought they were held together with love. There wasn't What's enough that? love in that one. Oh, man, <laughs> what's going on? So, what we'll do is just let them go, and I'm okay. going to pop them right in the oven, Ooh, too. Ooh, you can't be running around with hot pans here. Oh, my bad. Give me some meat. All right. So, okay, so those are going to finish cooking in They're the gonna oven. They're going to finish in the oven. Now, okay. our next little magic is poaching the eggs. Everybody's scared of poaching eggs. It's nothing but Can you do this in a minute? We can do it in about a minute. Sure, okay. we'll just get them started at least. Awesome. Basically, we've got our water. You're going to teach it just like you're cooking pasta. You season it really well with some salt. Okay. We'll also add white vinegar to it. White okay. vinegar is a little secret. It helps the egg whites stay together. When okay. you poach an egg, a lot of times you put it and you see strings of yolk yeah. go everywhere. I have strings of whites go everywhere. We don't want that. So we'll just crack the egg in there gently. All right. And you'll see how that yolk there just stays Now, how stays many can nice you put in so that where they're all not... Yeah, you don't want the temperature to drop too much, but we'll start with two. Okay. And I'll wrap some more up later. They've poached for about two minutes. And then we'll use a slotted spoon, pop them out of there, and we'll assemble it on the next uh, segment. But basically, you just take that out, and we're going to put the toasted bread, crab cake, poached egg, top it with the hollandaise, and that we're ready to that rock. That could be like a song. Toasted bread, crab cake, dun, 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 dun. Oh, hey, you got it, all right. Oh, you could be like backup dancer and singer or what? <laughs> I, I probably really could. That's, right. that's the I like weird it. thing I about like it. it. Uh, Didn't you used to be on In Living Color back in the day? A song girl? <laughs> I'm mad that you even went there. Oh, no, you know. I kind of wanted to do, but all right, well, we'll let that cook and simmer. <laughs> That's funny. Um, and also. <laughs> beautiful artwork by Carrie there. We'll explain that a little bit later. Yes. Back in the kitchen with Johnny Mo, the musical chef from Mallards at the Wharf in Onancock, cooking up Eastern Shore Crabs Benedict. So we are about to just assemble the plate and get going go. here. Yeah, our eggs are poached. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of this hollandaise sauce on the plate just so the, the uh, rolls don't slide all over the place. So kind of help my hold them job in place. is to pop them on there. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada boom. Okay. All right. Now we'll grab one of our lovely crab cakes here. The pop ones that on. are held together with love. Lots of love. <laughs> that guy, he was. He uh, was, I don't know. He somebody was adopted. wasn't. <laughs> somebody wasn't caring for him too much. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we got our slotted spoon. With your no, poached eggs, that. yeah, look, see how that held together real nice? And uh, if you like your eggs kind of over easy, mm -hmm. you want to do it, like I said, about two minutes. If you okay. like them a little firm, you just poach them a little longer. These are uh, about medium, we'll call them. Okay. All right. Then we plop that right on top there. All right. Then we get a nice... See, I missed the healthy cooking week. Yeah, you did. You know, this is fitness week, and I, here I, you are making hollandaise yeah. and... After you run 20 miles, <laughs> then you come back and you can eat half of one of these, all right? You were thinking party, not healthy, right? Well, that's right. I missed mm -hmm. a few letters there. <laughs> all right. So now you're going to give it the, all right. the uh, extra give garnish little, effect there. Like, boom, look it's at all that. over the plate. Yeah, beautiful. Lovely. Look at that. It's like, man, you, you need yeah, a job. I told you. you I, said, I told the Hampton <laughs> Road chefs, don't mess around. Look, yeah, beautiful. Lovely. And... Uh, I'll play up some more later, but we brought the smoked salmon too. You can also alternate it with the smoked salmon, or okay. if you want to be real fancy and do a double dipper, we want to you do just a fancy pop a little bone. bit of uh, salmon on top as well. Look at now how the, got the, the hollandaise sauce is just like falling oh, off of the crab cake. It is lovely, lovely. Oh, if this doesn't scream, wake me up, I'm going to eat this. I don't know what it's, does. You know, it's a little sloppy for breakfast in bed, though, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you can bring it down to the table. There but, you go. And so you could just assemble these and, and voila, yeah, that's it. There you go. And it's a, it's a very elegant but easy breakfast, you know, if you're having mm -hmm. a, a breakfast luncheon or a brunch for somebody. Yeah. This will be on our Mother's Day brunch, which is coming up this coming Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a, several reservations on the books, but anyone over there that wants to make a trip across the bay or any of our people that are on the eastern shore watching me right now what's yeah. up ESBA? Hey, ESBA. <laughs> um, come check us out it runs from 11 to 3 on okay. mother's day and uh, it's going to be a great turnout uh if you name it it's going to be on there really horses on the half shell all you can eat prime rib steamed mm. shrimp um and the list goes on and on treat mom right there this, you go. this year you know what just bring her on down so um your cookbook let's talk a little bit about that yeah, yeah which carrie cookbook. designed your cover yeah that's the new cover um carrie i'm, I'm thinking about getting her on the board for artwork you know but uh <laughs> Uh, 
That yeah, is it, a rock the party. I, I, I can't tell if it's Mo. a turkey or, or a chicken a or a hand. <laughs> I don't know. You know. I think her That'll kids work. actually drew it and brought it in. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, the new cookbook comes out on Monday. Okay. So uh, excited together, about that? I'm very excited about it. It's been a long time in the making. And uh, my first one, the Rock the Kitchen, came out in about 05, mm -hmm. 06. So uh, this is the follow-up to that. And Rock the Party. Basically, catering ideas. If you're having parties, there's little appetizers, hors d'oeuvres, dips, okay. sauces, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and it has a full length CD in it as well with uh, nine tracks from my band and myself. So it's, it's a lot of Which fun. Which I was loving that, uh, that little song that you made up about the new sh show. Yeah, 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 yeah. More to come. She's really a fly dancer, <laughs> a <laughs> sweet little <laughs> Love it. This will be great. Um, can you play us some, some stuff? You know, until uh, yes, we can go yes, out to our cool, next segment. Cool. But let's right. just, just show me what you got. Roll with it. All right. I, I like that little ditty I was playing before. No, so. just, I wrote this last night. Not, not the words, but the right. music. Okay. So we talk about Ariana and her brand new job. She's having lots of fun. And she, what rhymes? No, she's not a snob. She's real cool. She does it all the time. Used to be a fly girl, and now I need another rhyme. <laughs> Carrie Fury, Channel 10, Cheryl 10. Everybody here today, hey, hey. It's the Hampton Road right. Show. Good to you. That was you awesome. Know. Yay. Good to you. We'll hear more at the end. Let's send it sure. over to Carrie.